Chapter 23, Indians Come and Go. A scout returning July 2nd, 1781, from the Mohawk River, said Fort Stanwix had been burned. They brought with them two prisoners from near Kanajahari Fort, who say there are about 30 Indians in the fort. A new fort was being built a mile above Fort Herkimer. A small scout returning from the Mohawk River on July 10th brought to Fort Aswagachi 10 men, all deserters, whom they met about two days' journey from the inhabitants in great distress. They told Robertson that a thousand bateaux were building at Schenectady, some say intended for New York, but in general believed to go up the Mohawk River and against this country. Robertson said a party of 25 Indians arrived here from Canada to go to war on the evening of the 20th. I sent them off on the 22nd with two of my company. The same evening, a small party returned. An Indian was shot through the leg and slightly wounded in the shoulder from a blockhouse in running up to scalp a man they had killed and take another wounded prisoner. Yesterday, 50 Indians from the Lake of the Two Mountains and St. Regis arrived here for war, and our situation is such for provisions that I could not possibly send them from hence. On September 9th, Robertson reported to Brame, a Mohawk Indian came in here two days ago from that river that was sent there by Colonel Johnson from Niagara for intelligence. The persons whom he was directed to were most of them removed and sent to Albany as prisoners so that he had not so much as he expected. However, he tells me that General Clinton and Mr. Washington had an engagement below the highlands, the latter worsted in having lost 1,500 men killed and taken. This he had, as he says, from a royalist. The captain's report concluded, one stove for the guardhouse is very much needed.